how to connect NoCodeDB to Anaten step by step. Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to connect NoCodeDB to Anaten step by step. Whether you are just starting out or already working with no code tools, this integration will help you to automate your workflow like pro. Now, first we will go through the setup process, then we connect NoCodeDB to Anaten using the API credential and all. I will walk you through each step clearly so you can follow along even if you are a beginner. Now, once it is connected, you will be able to do some really powerful things like automatically update or create rows in your NoCodeDB tables. So let's get started. Before we begin, uh, here's what you will need. First, an active NoCodeDB uh, no account. I am assuming you have created already an account, so I will not demonstrate that it is very easy if you haven't created account just click on this accept and create an account using your google credentials now uh, the second is uh, an attend access uh, it could be cloud it could be a hosted version so this will work in both cases so let's get started so uh, uh, first step is to open your workflow of an attend now what i'm going to do is just Click on this plus icon or if you have new to Anaten, something will look, look like in front of you. Click on your ad first and search for noco db. Now, here you have to choose triggered or action. First, I will choose triggered or you can choose action as well. So let's click on this first or let's create a action as well. So you get the both ideas. So no co. So as you can see here, I have already created two to three credentials. So if you haven't created, something will look like, look like this. Just simply click on this create new button. You will get two option, user tokens or uh, API tokens. So what you have to do is select API tokens and what we need is API token and host. So where you will get that? Go to your account. As you can see here, this is my uh, NoCodeDB account and this is the dashboard. So let's, okay, refresh this. So something will look like this after creating your account. So in the left side in the bottom, you will get to see there is an option of your profile. Just click on that and click on this account setting. In the account setting, in the left side, you will get API tokens. Now, I have already created an uh, API tokens. Now, what I'm going to do, if if you haven't created this, add a new token to that and give a name. And then, and then, and click on the save. So it will give after saving your name, it will give you the API token. Copy this and go back to your annotate paste into API token section, go back to NoCodeDB Cloud. Now what you have to do is for host, you have to have this link. Okay, this link. So I'm using cloud version of NoCodeDB. So I will just copy this and paste into here. Now let's check if it is okay. We have successfully connected uh, with NoCodeDB. Now, just close this. Now, let's do some uh, demonstration. So, after that, after choosing credential, you have to choose a resource. So, I'm going to go with the raw. Now, what you have to do is uh, you have to choose the operation. It can be anything. You can say create a raw or delete the raw get a raw or get many raws, update or raw. You can do a lot of things. So I will do create. And now over here, you have to choose your workspace. Right now I have two workspaces. If you see, let me take this back. Now, as you can see, I have two workspaces, which is untitled workspace. And this is Jane Noah second one. Now I will choose untitled workspace. Now, after that, you have to search uh, for base name or ID. Now, over here, you can choose getting started. After that, uh, you have to choose the table name or ID. So we have uh, three table. 
uh, if you go and we have three table as you can see here so choose one simple view this is and let's execute that okay, these are the fields you can do that now i will just execute them and these are empty so go and click on this simple view as you can see here uh, it creates table over here this is an empty table 14 number and if you want to delete the table just go back and click on this delete button now you have to choose workspace then click on this base name or id then choose a sample view now what you have to do you have to enter the raw id value which is this one this is the id so let's say i want to uh, delete this ninth version which is called i love you just put nine and execute this step now we have successfully executed our node now just refresh this and as you can see here we have successfully deleted our this raw which is this one crazy what i love can do so this is how you can connect anaton to noco tb if you found this video helpful then subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching